uh, so this this question actually is, I think, very helpful for a lot of people, myself included, just because you do get so much great content out there, Abby. But um, are there any research papers that you've published either recently or just in, in your past in general that you think are helpful focused on nonverbal communication that you would like to share? Firstly, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, so there's been lots of really interesting research that I've read of other people's, um, as well as um, I recently have published my thesis findings, um, looking at nonverbal communication, um, specifically looking at how we can use nonverbal mimicry to influence cooperation, both in an in-person interaction and in a virtual interaction. So I would advise everybody to go and read that research because I've heard it's fantastic. Um, but so the research that I did was, uh, as I said, looking at nonverbal mimicry to influence cooperation. Um, but the reason that I chose this field is because there is some fantastic research surrounding um, nonverbal mimicry and synchrony in general. Um, so it would be impossible for me to pick um, my favorite papers um, of that. So I would recommend anybody that's interested in influencing rapport, closeness, trust, and general positive interpersonal interactions to go and have a look at the field of nonverbal mimicry. And if you come across my thesis studies, then I would recommend reading those too. <laughs> yeah, right. I, I, um, I know we discussed some of the differences between mimicry and mirroring and how synchrony plays into the whole thing. Are you able to give just like a little teaser of, of some of those main differences? Yeah, so mirroring and mimicry are often used synonymously and they, they can be, but it, it gets a little bit tricky with definitions. Um, the main thing to consider is that synchrony is about having synchronous movements. So for example, if I lift my arm up and then you following lift your arm up, that would be mirroring or mimicry. Synchrony can happen spontaneously. So if we are walking and then we all suddenly start walking at the same pace or in the same way, that isn't mimicry and that's not mirroring, that's synchrony because it happens spontaneously. You can't utilize that spontaneous synchrony to do anything because it's spontaneous. You have no control over that. Right. Whereas mimicry, you can control, you can use it as a tool, a tool if you use it effectively. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because we can sometimes not realize this, but all of the like mirroring mimicry and synchrony are all present or can all be present over yeah. video. Absolutely. And that, I think that that is such a, um, not ignored, but it's just, it's not something that people realize. And if you're, if people aren't realizing it, then there are thing cues or things that you could observe that you're leaving on the table. And then also there are, are certain behavioral techniques or tools that you could leverage more. Absolutely. To, yeah. To um, and I, I have a great story to illustrate that. Mm -hmm. uh, my PhD was um, focused on in-person interactions. I use nonverbal mimicry with dyads in person. And then the pandemic happened. And because I used motion capture suits, everything was put to a halt. So I remember having a conversation with my supervisors virtually. Um, and there were three of us. Um, and I was talking about what I'm going to do for my next studies because everything was focused on in-person interactions and I can't do anything online. And uh, one of my supervisors said, well, why don't you study what you were going to study, but do it in virtual interactions and see if the same effect carries? And I said, I'm going to be honest, I don't think that it would work. And he said, well, that's interesting because you're currently mimicking Stacey's interactions, who was my other supervisor. And I stopped and looked at exactly how I was sitting, exactly what I was doing with my posture and my hands. And I was exactly mirroring what Stacey was doing. And I laughed and just said, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll do it virtually. Right. And after doing the study virtually, it had the exact same effect in a virtual interactions, even with three people as it did with dyads in person. Yeah, wow. I mean, that, so that's fascinating. And I think that that's such a powerful 
such such a powerful thing to discover, right? And 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 very new, it would be a very new discovery for for us as as humans, kind of interacting in this new world. So it, it's amazing. It's really really interesting. Yeah, I think research is moving this way now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. When I was studying to do that final study of my PhD, there really wasn't any research yeah. on virtual interactions right. um, for nonverbal mimicry. Mm -hmm. But now it's fantastic that we are starting to see that because everybody's working from home. So the power of nonverbal communication yeah. virtually is now starting to show.